Creatives, welcome once again to another tutorial session on how to create this beautiful crinoline spiral fascinator. You can actually use this to also style your turban or just a fascinator. So these are the materials you will need. I have this flexible millinery wire. I have my Alice band, the crinoline, that's the big size of crinoline, about 7 inches width. Then I have this bias and then I have my fishing line you can actually use your normal tray then I have the fabric glue and then my cutter and the scissors these are the things you need for this fascinator so first of all I'm just going to be measuring out the crinoline I'll need for this fascinator and I'm using length of 35 inches and it will be exactly the same length as the wire also so I will keep this aside and also go ahead to cut out length of 35 inches for my wire as well. So I'm just going to measure it out and then I cut it out. Please, if this is your first time of visiting this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for joining me in this section. Please uh, kindly subscribe and if you like my video, please find value. Okay? So now that I've cut it out, I'm just going to go ahead to attach it on my crinoline and I need to fold the width of my crinoline into two before I will go ahead to attach it. And how you attach it is simply to use your hand needle and then the fishing line. You can actually make use of the normal thread and then you sew it along the length of the crinoline. Remember to fold the crinoline into two threads. Then you go ahead to hand stitch the wire at that seat, just as seen in the video, all the way down. So this is the very first step in achieving this crinoline fascination. So you keep watching and you keep learning. It's very easy to make and very easy to understand. But if while watching the video you find anything difficult to understand. Remember that you can leave a comment in the section in the comment section and I will respond to you. So thank you so much for joining me in another tutorial video. I create DIY content on how to make your headwears, your turbans, fascinators and, and headbands. Any design of headwear you can think of. I create videos on it. So if this is your what you love saying or what you love uh, watching or practicing then I will encourage you to please go ahead to subscribe to my channel so that you stay updated once I drop new video every week I drop videos every week so you stay tuned to this channel and if you find value please appreciate me and like my videos okay thank you and let's continue and go ahead to finish up with this fascinator. So right now I'm done stitching the wire all through the crinoline. So I'm just going to go ahead to apply this fabric glue at the end of the crinoline and then I'm just going to tie them. I will also show you all of this in this video so you keep watching and you keep learning. And when I'm done I'm just going to cover up the part that I attached my wire i'm just going to cover it up so that the wire won't be so visible okay and remember that the length i use is 35 inches if you love something so long or you know you love it smaller or longer remember that this length is not a fixed length so you can actually bring yours down to 30 inches or you can bring yours down to Take it up to as much as 40 inches okay so you can go ahead to practice this 
you know practice makes perfect you go ahead to practice it and understand it better it's very easy to make so you keep watching and you keep learning So I'm done tying the two ends. I'm going ahead to use this bias. This a form of bias strip that has the velvet velvet surface. So you can actually use this or any fanciful trimming you love. You can use it to cover up the wire. And all you need to do is to apply your glue and then use it to cover it up or you can as well sew it if you don't want to use your glue you can as well pin it on the on the crinoline and then go ahead to sew it with your machine so this is um, uh, the second step in achieving this beautiful crinoline fascinator so you go ahead and keep watching what i will do when i'm done doing this follow me on all social media platform at Nikki collection you can follow me on instagram and i will follow you uh, right back okay thank you for always visiting my channel and sticking with me i so much appreciate and if you are yet to subscribe to my channel please kindly so okay thank you all for joining me in this lesson Right now, I've come to the end of the covering up, so I'm just going to go ahead to twist this thing in any form I want it to look on the headband. And while twisting it, I will advise that you apply a little pressure so that it will, once you twist it, it will stay that way. Okay? So you go ahead to twist it, after which you will. Uh, use your hand needle to also stitch it on your toban or on your Alice band and this is simply how to achieve this guy so you keep watching and see how I, I did mine to the end and if you find value please kindly like my video okay and at the end of this I'm just going to fix it on the Alice band right there. I'm just going to fix it here on the Alice band. Okay, you can see how easy and simple this tie is. So you can actually do this and recreate yours. Okay, thank you so much for joining me in today's tutorial, and I will see you all in another tutorial. Please like my videos, subscribe to my channel, and you can go ahead to share my video. Thank you all and see you in my next tutorial section.